Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some more gameplays. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, but you know, welcome. Today we are playing Next Up Hero. This is a game that I got to play while in beta, but I got to play 15 minutes of it. I had to actually go back and look at my at my game stats on Steam and saw that I literally <laughs> had 15 minutes of gameplay of this game. And the reason for that was being because one, I didn't have my controller available at the time, I had my mouse and keyboard, and it plays terribly with mouse and keyboard. At least at the time. They could have changed it by now, I have no idea. But it played terribly with mouse and keyboard. So I have my controller today. I'm hoping I'm hoping my experience is a little bit different since this is a game I do believe is intended for consoles. Well, not entirely sure. The description of this game, for anyone who's curious, is next up here is an impossibly hard 2D action game driven by Community Continue. Inspired by Lost Childhood Spits at the Arcade in which best friends took turns beating unfairly difficult games, Next Up Hero was created so that beating a level is a shared victory and more fun than playing on your own. So this game does have a, uh, just have a sense of adventure on your own, but as other players have died on the same boss, the same area, etc., their past dead selves appear on the ground that you can then resurrect, and suddenly all of you are tackling the boss at once, sort of. It's not necessarily multiplayer in that respective, but it does have multiplayer components. You can play with a friend. This is the thing you can do. But you can play solo, yet feel like other people are there. You can actually do this entire link solo, but kind of feel like a multiplayer element. It's kind of weird. It, it really is kind of weird, but it's a cool weird. <laughs> uh, before I get any further though guys, as much as I would love to keep sh shilling, shilling this game, understand that, bam, this game was given to me by Humble Bundle. Uh, Humble gave this to me as I am a Humble Bundle partner, so full transparency everybody, this is a game that I was given to for free by Humble to try out at my leisure whether I wanted to post a video or not. Obviously, I wanted to. I do have a custom link to Next Up Hero through the Humble Store in the description below. If you'd like to check out this game for yourselves, it is currently in early access. However, this game is coming out very soon. So I would love for you guys to be able to check it out. But I'm not getting paid to play this game, guys. Just so you know, the developers did not contact me. Everything you'll hear you'll hear me say is of my own volition, my own opinions. You wanted the big word or the small word, pick your take your pick. And I will say the first time I played this, and I was going to record it, but I just had such a terrible experience, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. But I was playing with mouse keyboard, this time I played with controller. But I can't wait to see what the difference is. Mouse keyboard was so difficult last time with this girl, but I'm a player again, because why not? Games are locked. Okay. Let's just let's get, let's get into this first. Play. See what happens. Three. Two. A zero player to enter this venture. Great, I didn't read the rest. Hero go, eliminate the enemy heroes. Alright, so... Dr. Kenyo is a hero who's fallen on this level. At this location, so I can resurrect him. Errant King has returned. And Asperant has returned. So really, I think these are just like a tutorial type thing of like, Hey, here's the other heroes you could have played. Oh yeah, this is much easier with the controller already. I say as I get hit. In the mouse and keyboard version, you had to aim with WASD while also moving with WASD, and you used left click to fire, but you could not aim with your mouse. So it got very, very frustrating and confusing. Although you could aim with right click on that, so that was that was nice. But this is much better, much much better. The range on that, I've noticed. Really not getting much damage done at all. Here we go. Oh. There we go. Good job, turret. Turret of my ghostly friend. But he just turned into a turret. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, hello. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Oh, 
his shield protect him from a lot. Oh gosh. Why did I get up in his face? Love to have more mana ability. Get him, boys. Shoot him from behind. There we go. Alright, so most... Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, that was my ability. Oops. Well, I didn't know what button that was. You know what my dash button is? Okay, right click. Right click's my dash. Well, my right stick. That's... Aim. Move, obviously. Right trigger, left trigger. Doesn't seem like the bumpers do anything. A did my special ancient ability. Ancient I'll explain later. I remember. I just explain ancients right now. It's not like this this level is extremely hard or anything. So with ancients, they're kind of like these little mythical creatures that think of it like like a side ability you could equip. Uh you want to compare it to a game compared to just because it, I saw the game earlier so I was thinking of it League of Legends kind of like your summoner ability too. whether it comes back or not during the game I have no idea again I've only played 15 minutes of this thing so every level kind of has its own like hey do this thing in order to advance in this level it's kill all the enemies some of them are like level up or something they've Wait, I lost a hero. I just noticed that. Is my character pointing towards said hero? Pointing to something. Pointing to this thing? Oh gosh, my is that it? Well. Is that all I need to do for this level? Make it point A and B? Because I saw an enemy counter at the bottom. Or is it just like a teleporter? Oh, level two. Okay. All right then. Be the quest which appears at the start of this level. Deal sixteen hundred forty-two, sixteen forty-two damage. Okay. And it counts down for me. Sweet. I need to guess how much damage I've done. Wish I could heal. That'd be that would be fantastic. Get him, sword boy. There we go. Oh, this guy. I there's a cooldown on my thing. There we go. Ooh, Nelly! God, I ran right into them, didn't I? He was, oh god, where'd that dude come from? He just like slid in from the screen. All right, only need to do 100 more damage. I'm pretty good. Get back, stop it. I don't like the way you dash at me. That's completed. And now just find the exit. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there still is like a total enemies per level, but the quest you want to complete is the one on the bottom left corner. So this is what I'm assuming, because in the previous level, there's enemies there's an enemy counter on the bottom right. But we never finished that corner counter. There were still like three enemies left. Three. Time limit. Oh gosh, okay. Time limit to what? Defeat enough enemies reach the exit four zero. Ooh, okay. Hate these things though. So tough to kill just because they block everything. There we go. Gotta hurry. Oops. Hey, I still got him because he ran into it like a dummy. Like a big dummy. But this guy now. Why do you keep dashing out of nowhere? Whoa! What? Hero down. No! How'd he get me? Okay. Whoa, dude. 
There, that's my message. Okay. Whoa. I said press B for character select, but I couldn't, so I just pressed it. Joy progress, 0%. Great. Advanced characters, ancient capacity plus one, grand token. Interesting. So I didn't even begin to tap into what I could do. Flash enemy. All right, let's let's play someone else. Hold down, deploy a bombling, and choose when to detonate it. Assemble and drop a turret which attacks enemies. Damage transform into a boomerang. Let's try this guy. I always like like techie dude. What I have here? Like trap. What? Oh, are these like the enemies I killed? Wait, then why isn't he unlocked? I killed a bunch of those. Anyways, it seems like these would be enemies I kill. And there's a chance. Oh, that's right. Okay, so from this tutorial. Sorry, the tutorial happened in the beta and apparently didn't proc for early access because I've played it before. But anyways, so that's right. There's a chance that when you kill an enemy, they'll drop like a little token. And you pick up that choke token and it applies to this page. So once you have enough tokens filled up, then suddenly this ability is active. Now, I never unlocked all of them, as you can tell. So I'm not entirely sure if you can unlock it multiple times for like greater percentages. So instead of 2% chance, it becomes like a 2.5, then 3, or etc. But that's essentially what this is. So it kind of rewards you for hunting and killing enemies. These are your ancients. These are guys, this is what I was talking about earlier. How you can pick like your spells and stuff to uh, affect your character in game or 100 50 50 anything that just heals me I would love it if it healed me hmm what this guy I can't oh echoes needed well, all right then. No skin for this dude. I, I don't have a lot. That's locked. So I just want to get that to get that. If that's how he looks, like just black with red eyes, that'd be great. I would love that. It looks amazing. Anyways, all right, let's go. Uh, let's let's do the one star again because we we really did not do anything. We need level four is the maximum, then the boss. Okay. And I have one echo because I died. I'm continuing digital who's adventure? Widget. Another time limit trial? Great, that's what I wanted. Oof. Oof. There we go. See how it, these tokens right there, those grill green ones I picked up? Damn. Boy, you keep dashing at me. Oh gosh, hello. Alright, great. He actually does a lot of damage. I mean, he's slow, but he does some impressive damage. Oh gosh, that's my level. Oh gosh, okay, so I'm continuing where I left off exactly. Way too much damage. To be good. What are these guys? Thought I got him. Hit him from behind, turret. Alright. Go. Here we go. Get him, turret. Get him, turret. There we go. Shoot, I still haven't killed enough enemies yet. Uh, 11 more. That's a lot for the time limit I have left, I think. Could be wrong. It seems like a lot. Wait, was that it? I told you it just tells you like the enemies on the level, not necessarily your goal. Oops. Whatever, whatever. Did anyone notice his voice? The way he was like, yeah, yeah. 
level four mini boss. Go. Oh wait, what? Thing over enemy with increased stats. I couldn't see the previous message. Guys, devs, fix that. I couldn't even tell what the message said. Oh gosh, hello, 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 hello. Why are you so fast? 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 Why? Why? Oh gosh, here turret, just just smack him, just smack him around. Why are you so fast? Why are you so? Oh god, I had to jump away. At least my dash works just fine. Oh gosh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, if I just run him around, it should be fine, right? If I just run him around, it should be fine, right? Oh gosh, run. Can I set up another turret? Oh, I can. Great. Oh. Set up all the turrets. I don't even need to fight him, do I? Just let the turrets deal with him. You are a weakling, actually. I mean, in terms of, you know, speed and all that. Just gotta run him around. Oh, God. Whoa, dude. One big blast. That's Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> I'll just make you go in circles. Alright, this may take a while for what it's doing. Oh, gosh. Look, it's not interesting gameplay right here, but it works, alright? Just run around this little pillar of rock thingy. I don't care if it's interesting or not. I just want to win. I'm competitive like that. May not be pretty, but if it gets you the W, who cares? Probably what a lot of cheaters say. I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I notice he gets stuck between my turrets also. That probably shouldn't be a thing. It probably should be a thing for the boss to, like, not get stuck by his turrets. That makes this a little bit easier, you know? Meanwhile, my echo is just like slamming away at him. Damn! Whoa, what is it? Well, that was unnecessarily long. Ooh, money, 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 money. Golden sword. I have to attack the sword too? Artifact. Oh, it's an artifact. I don't know what that does. I got this. Level complete. Interesting. Okay. Any tokens collected? Alley blade? Is that what you would call that? I got a B rank. Rude. Leveled up. You've unlocked advanced characters. Ancient capacity slot plus one. Grand token and prestige. Thanks. Hey Quinn, I heard you called the fallen heroes Echoes. Just let's let you know up front, guys, you've missed the beginning of the story. But since this is mainly a preview, it shouldn't matter. You know, you should be looking for the gameplay. They never mentioned that term at the Academy. Considered a royal secret. After a hero is sung, the song sometimes hangs around, and you can quickly bring that creation back to life. We call it Life's Echo, or Echo for short. I didn't think we'd encounter them here, as Echo only happens somewhere with heightened emotion, pain, suffering, all that heavy stuff. So all the stories told by the students were true? The nightmares, the voices? I guess. We've only been here for a day. We should be careful. I didn't endure that boat ride to exercise caution. Follow me! <laughs> if that was the end, it would have been better. He just kind of like ruined it there. Demand, let's move. <laughs> I agree. Select challenge near in instantly. Quickly, slowly. Near. I guess just leave it the way it is. Select, defeat, compete. Defeat, thumb, medium? I guess. Okay. So I, I do know as you tackle these levels. Oh gosh, hello. 
Oh, oh, oh. Mixtape. Quick fire shots, fire stream of bullets. Quickly punch an enemy. Movement, damage, speed. Kung Lee, ooh. Quickly punch an enemy as combo point hits. Comboys do AoE damage. Expert guy. Gosh. All right, well, I want this bullet guy. This looks cool. Let's buy. Mixtape. Hey, you got some cool skins, dude. I kinda want that. What was he only 50, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get his skin. Why not? Wait, his skin unlocks the special move? I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> Just gonna tell you, I feel like that's cheating. Alright, 2% chance to deploy a spike trap to defeat when attacking. Interesting. Okay, equip that. Oh, see, you can get different levels. That's great. I love, I love progression in games. Just so you guys know, understand that I'm a type of person who loves progression. I love being able to unlock shit, stuff, stuff, stuff. I said stuff. I love being able to unlock stuff, which means RPGs are usually my favorite games. For example, games like Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed, like these open world RPGs. I'm the type of guy that's going to go do every, I'm a completionist type person. But mainly, I will do a ton of side missions and collection quests just to level up. Like, as soon as I get access to the open world, I will level up as much as possible, get every unlock, power-up point, and then tackle the main story. Just so you're aware of the type of person I am. So if that's not the type of person you are, you just watch the gameplay and see what you like. If you're like me, <laughs> you're in for a ride. Alright, so Ancients, it looks like we got another one? Alright, so we got this boy. Son of Groves, tax and roots all nearby enemies, and we have a glider to destroy... What? Okay. I never got how to even Let's do this. unlock that, so whatever. Great, trying to try repeat. Link, short, small. Forest? Lava. Tundra, sure. Boost rare enemy appearance? Sure. So I'm making my own level? This is great. So it's like, so to progress in the story, so to speak, you have to. Uh, you have to tackle these levels. Mix tape, mix them up. You have to tackle these levels, and since it's eliminate enemies, I don't need to rush. You have to tackle these levels, and as you get experience points, once you level up, so to speak, then you unlock more of the story. So we'll do one more little go around here, so that way you guys can kind of experience more of this game. The more I'm playing, so understand that during the beta, I was not into this game whatsoever. Mainly because I played with mouse keyboard, and it just, it did not work. It was, it was crap, I'm going to tell you right now, it was crap. But it feels a lot, so much better. Such a big difference to play with the controller. It's just one of those games that you can't play with mouse keyboard. Though, honestly, in my honest opinion, I feel like it would make sense to play with mouse keyboard if they could, uh... They may have fixed this by now, by the way, guys. I may be talking out my rear end here. They may have fixed this. But in the beta, I could not aim with my mouse. I could left-click to fire, but I had to aim WASD, which also my movement. So it made it very disruptive, very hard to play. I feel like this is a game that could be super easy and fun to play with mouse keyboard. Feedback to the developers, take it or leave it, but controller feels just fine. Nothing super, uh, nothing's annoyed me so far about the controller. We'll play with this guy, hopefully it goes great. I wish I could hold right trigger to keep firing, but it's not that big. It looks like left trigger is kind of like, I don't know. Can't tell. What is left trigger? Like just enhanced bullets? I don't know, maybe I should have read that better. Should have probably read the description better. There's something I can unlock? Because that thing is glowing. Oh no, all the crystals are glowing. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, when we encounter the rare enemy, which looks like it was a tree or something, I'll activate my ancients so you guys can check that out. Let's go ahead and clear this map. It's an eliminate enemy mission anyways, but I think... I think we should just go ahead and clear it. Ooh, ow! Fun! Dude! Rude. I level up in the middle of that? What was that? Hello? Alright. So it's the right? I think that's where I'm missing. Right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, yep, yep. Alright. Ability, go! Get them all! Ooh, baby. Whoa, who are you? Why are you not a rare? Oh gosh, I barely dodged that. Yeah, hey, I'm missing an echo. T-Rex with, I don't know what that thing is, it looks like a, some kind of dinosaur with missiles on the back. Kind of cool. Gosh, shoot. 
That was not as easy as it looked. I'm not gonna... Now, wait, I thought the tree was a rare. What? Oh no, that's the rare one. Oh snap. Oh snap. He's actually dying pretty quick. Never mind. Easy as I mean, I thought that was gonna be hard. Apparently that was easy. Rapid fire. Beat. Who needs to be? I assume they're up here. There's one? Ooh, ow! You made us both get knocked out, homie! Jeez, that hurt. One more. You, you're the last one. There we go. All enemies cleared. Can I heal by standing? <laughs> there is no healing in this. It's similar rogue light. It's rogue light. Light. Right? Light. That's what I'm not like. like. I do enjoy that there's an overall progression type thing of like, if you keep failing at a, like a level or a boss, your echoes are there to always help you. So there's never going to be a, a moment level that, or at least in theory, there should never be a, a level that you can never get past. Like if you fail enough times, eventually you will get, which is like kind of all games, but eventually you will get through it because your echoes are there to help you. Oh, I don't know what you do, but get off me. You guys look scary. Get away. Well, at least I know what that beeping was earlier. That kind of freaked me out. Ran into that. Man, that ability is such a long reach, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. I can hit this guy from here, probably. Nope. Oh, oh. Fuck me on my butt. Whatever. Oh, dude! What? Did I not notice he teleported last time? Was I that blind? Note to self. Headbutting guy teleport. Ooh, who these guys do? Whoa! killed your buddy. Oh, now he's dead, so you can't fly far. That's kind of cool. Oh, the rare tree appeared. It was kind of a pushover last level. Whoa! Aren't you the boss that I just defeated? Hello? No! Oh my god, I barely dodged that. Okay. Thank god for that. Oh, I see At least I know where it's at. What? <laughs> I saw his outline of his attack, and I was just like, I'll just move over here. A lot of tokens collected on that one. Almost leveled up again. Wow. Wow. Challenge completed. Awesome, so I make my own challenges. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The easy adventures, normal adventures, champion trials, the uncovering of Earth, the sixth dirge. I wonder why its song doesn't impact me. That goes into more story stuff, huh? My own adventures, the ones that I made, and then featured. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this once, and I swear, again, <laughs> only because I'm a humble partner, do I wanna make this clear. Again, I was given this game for free, was not paid to promote it or anything like that, guys. Nothing. The developers didn't even give this to me. Humble gave it to me. I have no reason to give this, this game a great review in terms of like, hey, I want another, I want you devs like me. Nothing, guys. Legit, I hated this game when I got the beta. I hated it. Mainly the keyboard mouse controls, which stunted my progression, so I never got this far. With, with the controller, again, I wish they would fix me. Uh, mouse keyboard, I wish you could hold on to your primary ability. Uh, just hold the trigger down instead of having to click it all the time, because I hate clicking it. It gives me... I already have carpal tunnel in my, in my right hand, so it really annoys me. But uh, I never got this far. Like, seeing all of these that are available, like, this is this is incredible. Like, let's, let's check out Featured for a minute. 11 days, 11 days. So these are like... Oh, damn, look how many people have died here. 50 levels. 80, 50, 
Are these how many people who have died or playing? Yeah, died. No, because those are echoes. Jeez, can you imagine that? And here's the leaderboards. Guys, this this looks so freaking great. Champions trial, champion trial locked. By contributing and completing regular ventures. Then that just yeah. And normal ventures for challenges. Yeah, no, guys, I'm gonna say this again. This this game looks fan freaking fantastic. And I know there's a whole point of making your own level. And I, I saw that earlier before of like, hey, you can make your own level here. And I was like, I'm not the type of person who has the technical know-how of making a level. But it's not really that. It actually is like, hey, just here's some, just set like enemy type, location, etc. Just set these things and then randomize it. It reminds me so much of like creating your own world in Terraria, so to speak. But this is a little more advanced. Yet this isn't crazy, like literally customizing enemy locations, uh, map placement, stuff like that. This is great, actually. I legit want to play more of this game. Whether I play it on the channel is up to you guys, of course. I would love to play more of this game personally, myself. Um, wow, this is this game looks really great, guys. Again, link is in the description below, guys. If you want to check it out on the Humble Store, you can get early access to the game right now and play. This is this looks fantastic. I'm I'm certainly gonna play a little more while this is uploading. Full disclosure, I'm gonna play a little more while it's uploading. I don't care. <laughs> but this looks great, guys. This looks amazing. I, I want it to be a little polished up more. Like I said, I have the, a few of those couple issues that are main things for me. Uh, there's a few visual things that are a little off, but other than that, this game looks really fantastic. It's such a great concept, and I think it's being executed pretty well to the point that I, I really do want to play more. It's got me hooked, and I want to play more of this. So again, guys, check it out. Let me know if you like it in the description below or what feedback you would give the devs just by watching this. What do you think would entice you to play some more or what would you like? I would like to hear your thoughts, guys, and I always do discuss this with you in the comments. But thank you for watching. That'll be it for today. Check out the next video that comes out at some freaking point. Maybe tomorrow. We will see. <laughs> see you next time, guys.